Looking beyond the beaches and the parties, it is important to remember today is a day that we honor and mourn those who have made the ultimate sacrifice serving our country. A group of local pilots plan to honor those heroes along with those who are currently fighting on the front lines of the pandemic. So News for Jack's reporter Lena Pringle is live this morning. Lena, while a lot of this year's tributes are virtual, this one in particular is not. Mm -hmm. Good morning. The squadron decided to also dedicate today's flyover to healthcare workers to salute those at the forefront fighting COVID-19. The Dreamland Squadron is recognizing those who served on the front lines overseas as well as those on the front lines of our hospitals. As long as the weather cooperates, the squadron plans to launch from Holler Park, Air Park and Green Cove Springs this morning at 1140. They will then make their way up to Cecil Field, then the Jacksonville National Cemetery. From there, they will pass various hospitals in downtown, fly over to Mayo Clinic and then downtown to Green Cove Springs, and they will end at St. Augustine Veterans Memorial. Memorial Day is even more somber this year as veterans continue to die from the virus. Many of them are older, have underlying health problems or live in places that are breeding grounds for the disease. According to the Department of Veterans Affairs, more than 1000 veterans have been killed by the coronavirus. They're at that age uh, where they're they're susceptible. So if we anything we can do to just put some put put the eyes on them, those kind of people, uh, it's just it's something small for us. We look forward to it and, and, and it's an honor for us and a challenge for us to do it. During this Memorial Day, pilots with the Dreamland Squadron say it is a good time for reflection. Pilots will also continue to check on the weather. They say that this could affect the timing and locations of today's flyover. For a full flight plan, you can head over to newsforjax.com. Live in Jacksonville, Lena Pringle, Channel 4, The Local Station.